Bond on Equip, episode 334 on the 8th of September 2024. I'm Wem, and with me, as always, is Tempest. Hi, Tem. Hi. I can't look across at you today because I'm around the corner. <laughs> well, you can look across so at you me. You have to do that to look at me. I just have to do that to look at you because <laughs> I've got my leg up. It's oh. up. I'm we'll also, talk about that. Yes, I'm also I'm also watching chat because for the first time ever we're streaming while we're recording. How exciting! Mm, not sure how I'm going to get that up on YouTube, but it's a big adventure. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Uh, let's talk about real life. Did you answer the question of life? What are we doing here? So, real life. I had my skin graft operation last Tuesday. Stayed overnight in hospital. My legs wrapped up like a Christmas present. They're going to play pass the parcel on Thursday when I go to the clinic. Um, the donor site, which is a fancy name for my thigh, is quite sore. And is kind of like gravel rash, so hoping that heals up Still, okay Still too. no gravel rash? No, it's just quite tender now. Hmm, hopefully, because it's five days in now. So. It doesn't hurt non-stop. It just kind of hurts sometimes. Mm. Hmm. I try probably. not to push on it. Probably when the, try not Theo to push stood Theo's. on it the other day. That was fun. <laughs> Ouch. Speaking of Theo, hi, hmm. Bubba. Hey, Bubba. Um, Theo, the crawling machine. Yes. Even uh, knows when you're coming to get him and he is after something. So Runs like a demon. Went to uh, run crawl. Fast, fast, fast. Anyway. Um, it's nice to nice to spend time with him. It's been lovely for you to be able to spend time with him during it this has. time. It has. I've spent a lot of time. One bonus. With my little guy. Yeah, and he just loves you. And now, instead of getting excited when he sees me on uh, FaceTime, he now gets excited when he sees you, which I'm um, a little bit excited about. still can't say yet. That is Waiting. true. That is true. He'll do it in his own time. <laughs> um, I worked on Monday uh, and we had PJ Day at work. That was Sorry, fun. Sorry, did you say PJ? Yes, P for pajama. Thought it was Christmas then. Uh, and the rest of the well, you would have known if it was Christmas. Uh, the rest of the week, I had the week off to look after Wem, who's pretty much basically supposed to be a lump. Yes. And not going anywhere. I think the technical term is jack shit. Yes, which is getting a little frustrating. But not as frustrating as when he says things like, "Do you want me to get us a coffee?" And then I just want to smash him in the head. With a coffee cup. Mm, with the coffee cup. Mm. Full or not. Shall we talk about actual real wow? I think we should. Let's see if there's something we need to discuss. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention please? Alright. Mm. So much to discuss. Well, we're keeping it down to a minimum because we want to we don't we wanna keep it, you know. Snappy. Sharp and snappy. But there is a lot to discuss, regardless. Maybe so. Mm. So uh, so Blizzard, not one to rest on their laurels. I mean, you know, we're week two of the expansion. Have announced what they're doing for the 20th anniversary, which oh is God. super exciting. That is exciting. When, and is that in what month? Is, is that November? It goes through November and December. Right. Which is super fun. Cool. And the br in brief, you're going to earn and spend a new currency, which is bronze celebration tokens, to spend on new items for your collection. Yes. We're going to engage in the Blackrock Depths Raid Dungeon. I am very excited about that. I'm pumped about that. I've wanted something like mm. Blackrock Depths since then. And now we're going to get it. Mm. Well, we used to love uh, Witches Down and Dirty Elba's Runs. Yeah. And uh, Uber's was a full full raid um, yeah. originally when we first started playing the and then they dropped it just back to a five-man. But BRD was one of those places that you never explored the you whole You never did lot. the whole thing. You no. couldn't do it. You'd, you'd, no, so you would you go in... You could spend all day in there and not do it all. Yeah, and to the point where I can only tell you parts and pieces of I couldn't tell you how the way... Like, even all we've these... Seen it all. So we've done key runs, like Jailbreak... Yeah, for um, Anixia. Oh yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. So part of the Anixia chain used to go in and have to do a jailbreak in there. Um, we've done, <laughs> we've done the fiery depths ones. We used to have to go and get molten pieces for stuff to get um, yep. gear 
for gear and we used to have to... For Wordle to make our gear. For Wordle to make, well, your gear because he was a blacksmith. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Who, where was the... This is going to test your memory and this is a question without notice. What was the one? What was the one we did where I went through the window? Because we used to do it a lot. Oh, that was the shortcut to... Um, Oh, that yes. Was the back entrance. Yes, yes, because um, the final part of your Anixia thing, you had to go and get something, a scale. You had to go and kill something. We used to summon people in. So we'd go in, get to there, and then we'd summon people in. So we'd take a warlock and two other people. Yeah. We'd summon people in so we could do that. And we would do that a lot. A lot. What was, mm. where was, mm. um, we used to have to take that scale and get the dragon to breathe on it. Yeah, that was the was one. Was that in BRD? Yeah. That's the one I'm just talking about. Oh, that's for the leatherworking piece. Uh, I don't know if it's for the leatherworking. Probably as well. I don't know specifically what it was for. But I thought it was for the Anixie the cloak. We used to jump through the window because that's the way you snuck into Molten Core. <laughs> um, if you didn't have the Molten Core key, you could go in that way. I don't think you could get to Molten Core yeah, that you way. Could. That's how we used to do it. No, you we were used... an expert. I was an expert of getting there. That wasn't part of Molten Core though. That was BRD. Yeah, that you used still... to be able to sneak in the back way there. No. Barat's going, yeah, you could. Oh. <laughs> He's watching, going, yeah, you oh, could. Oh, I can't see the chat because I've paused it, so I don't get to see the live chat. So you're oh, you're in charge of chat. While it's paused, mm -hmm. go on the window of YouTube mm. and you'll see the volume and just mute it. Mm, okay. Anyway. All right. I'll do that Maybe volume. next time. Tons of prep done here, guys. <laughs> Three minutes before we're going to record. Tim goes, why don't we stream it live? Now, how do I catch up to live? You... Oh, I don't think you need to catch up to live to see the. Just drag the um, time thing right across to the right. To the right, okay. Anyway, you can also. We got a bit sidetracked there. Sorry, you, you got collect a sidetrack. iconic tier two transmog appearance sets. Okay, I can't see There the are chance. pictures of all of those. I will get them, maybe put them in next week's show. Yeah, I've got you one picture this week, that's enough. What is it behind oh, us? Oh boy, this is, you know, we're really recording our podcast, right? Yeah, sorry, what? Were you asked, did you ask me a question? I was trying to figure out whether I'm looking at our current one. And and because I've got no chat. So I don't know how to fix my chat. Anyway, why don't you? I'm just going to close it. Why don't and... you mute your sound and restart the live chat, the live podcast? I have muted my sound. Oh, that's, well, then you don't need, you can just play the stream. Yeah, but I didn't want to do that because I said it would be a, a drag on our bandwidth. <laughs> our bandwidth. Come on. It's three rats on a treadmill. Right. Going back. So, sorry, sorry what really, did you say? We really that... got sidetracked here. <laughs> can, there's, they've redone the Tier 2 Transmog appearance sets. And as Tally Essen pointed out on their podcast, the new Demon Hunter one looks like every other Demon Hunter thing they've ever done. But Isn't it because you just go, okay. get to Fun. see the Demon Hunters? It's like saying, I don't know, Shadow Priest. You don't get to see the Shadow Priests. They're all shadowy. That's true. Yeah. Unless um, you make a normal priest look shadowy. The thing impressive. I'm most excited about. <laughs> yes. Time Walking Classic Dungeons. Oh, yeah. All right. So the old ones like, what were they, did, have you got listed what ones they are? I don't have a list at hand, they but I know say there's Dead, uh, dead, minds, dead which minds, which I was very excited them. about. Hmm, I can't Dime remember. Dimal, maybe? Oh yes, Dimal, both sides. Was it Dimal, both sides? Yeah. I think it was Dimal, like both three. sides. Um, anyway, and that is staying in the time walking rotation, they said, so that is excellent. Can you see my chat? Yes. Okay, I can't see chat. I'm trying to run, I'll show you. Okay, sorry. Um, sorry, everyone. I thought I would help out, but I can't because I can't see hey, anything. Hey, why are you not helping out? You're helping out. No, I can't help out with what? chat because I can't see anything. There's nothing because there's no one. Okay. It's just us. Oh. That's well, okay. Didn't you say PD just said yes? No, I said he's saying it to me while he watches this <laughs> later. He's saying yes, you absolutely could sneak in the back door uh, of Molten Core. Whatever. And... You used to do it, and you were the expert at it. And I can't, I don't understand what's happened to your brain. You can't remember um, that. 20 years? And three kids, and one me. <laughs> yes. Um, so you can earn a new and mount. A <laughs> Blizzard Employee Service Award Cosmetics. So, when you're at Blizzard, and you're, and you're there for like five years, you get a helm, a real helm. Mm. Uh, 10 years, you get a shield. 15 years, you get a sword. They don't know what 20 is. 
no, no, along no, no, those suggesting possibly a whole suit of armour to, to complete her set. I just want to... Re- careful, I, careful. Oh, no, you won't set it up, I will. <laughs> I just want to say... There'll be balloons. I just want to say that there is uh, there is something I need to say about Holly, whatever her name is. Longdale. Longdale. She's lovely. When you finished, there's something I She's need to tell you. She's the best is what you're going to say. Yes, apart from that, there's something... And a cool um, player. I'm done. Yeah. Go. Okay. So, Holly Longwell... Uh, Longwell? Dale. Langwell? Longdale. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I can, Holly. I can smell toast. Am I having a stroke? Um... Have some more taste. Uh, she revealed Blizzard. in a recent podcast with was it Talia and her laptop? No, no, it was, it was a, with it that was girl. The Wowcast. Yeah, that um, she got the Baron's mount on her very first attempt. <laughs> Suck, witch. <laughs> and that girl is Bethany Stout, the community manager, who's lovely. Uh, oh, she like a Blizzard person. Yeah. Huh. I thought she was like some. Like just community person, like she's us, the equivalent but... of that person we had a massive fight with. Well, she looks way nicer than that person. That person got the sack. Mm. Anyway. Anyway, well, probably that was a long why. time ago. <laughs> okay. And Next, he's got the same on. name as uh, number one in your hearts. Uh, okay. I'm Seventeen in the program. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, anyway, anyway, this is the, this is the most shambolic reading off of. Yeah, you, points because ever. you let me interrupt you this and then we just like, end up down the track. This the quick facts. Lucky I didn't get the long ones. Yeah, you didn't even list the important dungeons that so, people want to know. People are like, what again. am I going about November to December, that? bronze yeah. celebration for currency. We're starting There's again. There's going to be BRD dungeon. Oh There's going to be tier two transmog appearance sets. There's going to be time walking classic. You're going to get a mount and in-game cosmetics of the Blizzard Employee Service Awards. You're going to get... An ex- there's going to be an expanded event at the Caverns of Time. Not exactly sure what all that is. There's a new Chromie adventure, the Codex of Chromie. That'd be a bit of fun. There's going to be more secrets. There's going to be world bosses, which are the original world bosses from Vanilla. And they're bringing in the Shah of Anger from Pandaria and Archivon the Stone Watcher from some other expansion. Where's that from? I'm not sure. Help us out. Tell us out. Where is we it from? Seen it. Yes, of course we have, but I'm like Archive on the Stone Watcher this has be, no uh, no hook. The Shah of Anger, on the other hand. Oh we know him. Oh. I've got to say they're rolling out the old Corrupt's oh. Revenge. I know it's I know Old Drag Valley's popular, but surely there was other stuff we did. Drag Valley is the best. How dare you Okay. One more thing and then I'll let you un Cross your fingers. Sure. Uh, and there's going to be Warcraft 3 themed back appearances on the trading post. So, like, orcs have got like a she- like a horde shield and crossed axes. And the, there's there's an orc one, a human one, an undead one, and a night elf one. Mm, 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 mm. That so is a lot. It is a lot. I am looking forward to BRD. It's going to be amazing. It will be fun. But it's going to be, I don't know if it's going to be LFR or mm. if it's just his like Whatever. all the other ones well we've never done any of the other ones no that's true yeah we have not but, but so maybe we'll, we'll just get to some people together effort. yeah yeah but definitely going back yeah, in there'll be people, people there'll be people some of our guildies that have never seen BRD we don't know the epicness of mm. what was a dungeon that made me laugh was that um <laughs> Tally Essen was singularly unimpressed with the vanilla stuff because he never played in vanilla Never played vanilla. So I'm not criticising him for that. That's no, okay. That's, that's fine. just I mean, surprising. If you're it? not hard and cool like us, that's fine. Okay? That it was, doesn't matter. That was nearly coffee out the <laughs> nose. Oh my God. But it's funny that it's also, not Also, can we just mention value. that horrific moustache? Yeah, what was going on with that tash? We saw them again and it was oh, better. Right. I don't know if which one was first or second, but if it was not first, get rid of it. That was hideous. That was just a bit of fun. Mm. Bit of a jape while he <laughs> shaved off his beard. <laughs> All right, what was your thing that you were going to say? No, I'm going to save it because I know we talk about it in a minute. Wow, that is, you are a content creator. I know, look at me. All right, let's what roll is... it into the news. <laughs> was it now that you wanted to say it? No. Okay, <laughs> so the Drakthir. I'll let you know. 
when the 20th anniversary celebration content update drops, which is 11.5, it's the whole 11.5 patch. Yep. So the 11.5 patch centers around the 20th anniversary, but there's going to be some other stuff as well, but mm -hmm. not a ton. But so, a lot of what we just talked about. Drakthir. And the Drakthir. Will now be able to play as a hunter, a rogue, a priest, a mage, a warrior, or a warlock. Which is interesting because Conti's already flagged he's going to he's race, change race change his yep. mage. Interesting. Loves it. And these new Drakthir classes will begin at level 10 in the Forbidden Reach. Apparently on the PTR they were beginning on the um, that island. Exile. Yeah, Exiles Reach. Exiles something. Exiles Reach. Is it Reach as well? Yeah. So we've got so. Forbidden and Exiles. I think so. Incredible. Yeah. Uh, and we'll be sent to Chromie in their capital city after completing their introductory levelling experience. As so for other ones. makes me glad that I levelled my drag there already from 60 to 70 because I don't want to do one from 10 to 80. Well, yes. But you don't have to. You can race change. Yeah, that's, that's money though. Okay, well, choices. Only, is only... it hard to level? My God, are you mental? No, it's not, right. but I mean, you know. Season 1 features? I feel like I was ahead of the curve now and you've ruined it. Uh, oh. Season 1 features, wait. You, you can see us on the YouTube, can't you? Oh, uh, yeah. So you'll be able to see the special screen I'm about to put up. Here it is. Oh, well, I won't, because I'm on a delay Boom. because I'm watching live. Well, okay, look well, look I'm that, just everyone. saying. They can't see it. Well, you they can they see it, but they I hear it. Look at that. Like, oh, do you, is it already up? Yeah. Wow, oh, I thought there was a bigger delay than that. So, you know, if we wanted to swear and bleep it, you've got about three seconds. What if I can do that? <laughs> just saying. So, just running through that, that's a nice little roadmap. We love a roadmap. We do. Good on you, Blizzard, with your roadmaps. Yeah. Love them. Anywho. Anywho. Uh, so, the week of September 10, which is next week. I like how they say the week of because you get sick of going September 10 in America. September 11 everywhere else. Mm. You know, yes. That's not near there. Mm. That's on a different time. So, so. the first week, week, let's call it week one. Week yeah, this one, week. We're going to say this week. Next starting week, we get, after this week reset. coming up, yeah. we get Naruba Palace Normal and Heroic Difficulty. Yes. And Raid Finder Wing the Week 1. The whole lot opens whole up lot for, us. for us. Yes. LFR. Raid Finder Wing, wing one. 1. Which is what we'll be doing. To try and... We've got to get our gear up. You never know. I think we're going to have 10 people. We've got three. It opens on Tuesday. And we'll have four or five before... Yeah, we're not going Tuesday, though. We've got till Thursday. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think we will. I think maybe I by think, Monday... I think we'll have at least 10 that can go in and have a bit of a sneaky look. Uh, otherwise, we'll just... Thursday night, we might LFR it with our raid Or group. Mythics. <laughs> was weird uh You're so weird. mythic zero dungeons will open oh not mythic plus though yet no just mythic zeros but that's good because good gear mythic zeros good gear good gear and uh, a good way to explain is to see the dungeons at now, mythic here's difficulty. something a bit i'm not sure about this hmm. heroic seasonal dungeons yes does that mean we can't do heroic the other four anymore correct wow but we won't be doing them anyway. We'll be beyond their gear. But we I do know, need to go in and learn to, them, though. There might be gear there that you want. Well, you can do them on Mythic Zero. I've done them all now. They're not se se the Mythic Zeros aren't seasonal, are they? Yeah, I think you can still do them, but you don't... No. No, I'm sure they said you can't. I did the last couple that I hadn't done this morning in randoms. Wee. And it, I'll be taking you to do them after we record. Mm. Heroic Seasonal Dungeons. Face new world bosses. So there's four world bosses. And then uh, I'll tell you their names, but they're going to mean nothing to you, see them. You did it? You skipped? Where what did, did you go? I'm in the first black box. Oh, yeah, sorry. No, you haven't skipped. Kordak, the Dormant Protector, the Aggregation of Horrors. What are you Shirai, talking about? What are you doing right now? The Atrocity of the Undersea, and Orta, the Broken Mountain. They're the four world bosses that are coming up. Oh, how exciting. Love a world boss. So one in each zone, no mm. doubt. <laughs> and PvP season also begins Kai. Uh, yeah, you didn't say anything because. about... Delves. You missed the whole Delves section. Where's the Delves section? Delves. Tier 4 plus unlocked. You went straight to new seasonal. You didn't even say new seasonal Delve. You just said heroic difficulty ones. Where's it say anything about Delves? In the September 10. Oh, you're looking at the picture. Yeah. 
Well, MMO champion, you've let me down once again. Okay, so I'm going to go through the picture. Normal yeah. difficulty raid, heroic difficulty raid, LFR wing one, said that. mythic difficulty dungeons. Absolutely. Doesn't say mythic plus. No, it's not mythic plus. That's yeah. week two. Tiers four plus unlocked on delves. Yeah. A new seasonal delve a is seasonal delve is released. PvP new arena and battleground season rated battlegrounds solo queue. That's interesting. I don't know if that's new or not. Rated battlegrounds mm, to solo queue for them. Yeah. Mm. Um, and Week two. also, I just want to say um, the mythic. Oh, okay, we'll go over it now. But oh, raid, yeah, you can see it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raid. Yeah. And go back up so I can read it. Better. September the seventeenth, Mythic difficulty is unlocked, which is like Mythic Plus, and the dungeons will be Arakara, City, City of, of Echoes. Echoes, City so of Th can, You don't want to say something about them as we say what they are. I don't know which one that is. That's the one you're on the spider web, and you the first boss you kill the three little spiders, and then the big spider comes from the web, and you kill that. It's not the did one we do where it you yesterday? follow. No, we did it the first time. Oh, I don't remember it. Okay. Anyway, that's quite a nice one. City of Threads. City of Threads is the one where you follow the scent. You follow the scent. Right. Yep. Yeah, that but was, we did that yesterday. That was, looked a bit complex at first, but I think once we get used to it, that'll be fine. The Dawnbreaker. The Dawnbreaker. I like it. I think the more you learn it, the better it'll be. It's problematic if you don't like flying. It is problematic. The Stone Vault. That is, um, is the Stone Vault is a current one, isn't it? Yes, the Stone it's, Vault. I think that's the one in the Ringing Deeps. We did do that yesterday. We're drawing a blank. It's very um, dwarven. No doubt. Oh, is that the one where you take the carts back yes, to the centre? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. So that's the one that's like you do the spokes on a wheel and you come back to the centre on a cart. Yes. You go left, you come back. The least favourite right. news of our lifetime. Mists of Tenerife is in the rotation. Which Mate. is fine. We hated that, that on Mythics yeah, last didn't time. Like it. The Necrotic Wake, which I can't remember, but I feel is very poisony. Necrotic Wake, I think, is the one where you go right around the outside and you kill like a the first boss. I can't think of anything that to tell you that will make you know what it is. <laughs> I know what it is. Okay. Well, we'll be we'll have it confirmed. The first boss you do a big Actually, and that's funny because there was a couple of shortcuts and helps if you were a certain faction. Not faction, what were they called in Shadowlands? Class? No, there, there was four different ones. Oh, the Covenant? Covenant, if right. you were... Well, so was Mists of the... Turnaside, though. It was a shortcut if you were... A... Oh, yeah, there was too. Yeah. Um, Siege of Boralus, which is the Alliance um, Zone dungeon. From? From... Battle for Azeroth. Battle for Azeroth, thank you. And Grimbatol, which is, um, I think, is that one uh, from, I don't know what it's called, uh, Cataclysm? Yes, Cataclysm. Where you went in Where and... you go in and before you do the first boss, you fly on the dragons and you bomb your way through to clear your path. Yes. So that, that'll be fun. That was a pretty good one. Uh, and then September 4 is the, uh, uh, oh, so as well as that, you will get story mode. Uh, and you'll get LFR Wing 2. Oh, sorry, that was Raid. So Raid Mythic, Mythic Difficulty. September 17, you yes. said September 4. Sorry, 24 was the next one. Dungeons Mythic Plus Difficulty opens up. We've just discussed that. And the Great Vault opens. Huzzah. Huzzah. And then uh, the last, the third week. September 24. Just LFR Wing, wing three. 3. So there are only three wings? Is that what you're reading from that? I don't know. Hmm. Because what would be three bosses in each, maybe? Mm. Maybe there's a fourth wing that they haven't bothered to put it down. Who knows? Um, I love seeing a timeline. I think it's nice to it's know much where so you're coming. Much love a timeline. Let's go back. Did you answer whoa, whoa, whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, there we go. I can't see it, so I can't tell. I'm not editing that. Oh. That was a little bonus for you. <laughs> of the little elephant. Yeah, sure. Um, so week of September 10, Naruba Palace, normal and heroic difficulty, Raid Finder Wing 1. Why is that all there again? Because that was for me to read. Mm. Okay, let's skip you know right what? over that. If you could find the time to like and subscribe on YouTube, that would really help us out. Give us a provisional thumbs up now. Oh, I got the 
Put fireworks. <laughs> Give us some fireworks now. While I'm while we're while we're enjoying the fireworks. Oh, I see show. the fireworks now. There you go. How oh, do you want to see the balloons? Yeah. What was what was balloons? Something to do with your fingers. Yeah, you'll see it soon. Oh. Uh, and I'll remind you later to remove it if we. <laughs> I don't think we should stream anymore. We should never stream again. <laughs> Apart from no one's watching. Uh, we, it's not like we warned anyone. No, that's right. So where can they see us on socials? Uh, I'll remind you later to remove the thumbs if we get going like we have been. <laughs> um, YouTube. Oh, you're really going to take that out, aren't at you? At Binding on a Quick Wow, Instagram at Binding on a Quick Wow, and Facebook at Binding on a Quick Wow. Now, on Instagram, you might not see very much, but you will see us on threads. At Binding on a so. Quick Wow, on X as well. Nope, because no but one posts there because of Melon. So you know what? Why no one answered young... us about why we why we chosen to call him Melon. Why We're gonna have to go Melon? back and find him. Oh my god! Just wanted to give a shout out to our friend Grim. He's been a supporter of BOE since the start. One of the very nicest people we've ever met. We've met him in real life. We've been to his place. Yeah, we've met he him several times. Did lovely things with us. Yeah, and has become a very valued real life friend. So I just wanted to give him a shout. And uh, we always look forward to his messages when uh, our footy team is playing. So Absolutely. That's nice. It's always nice to see them. Yep. In, res in response on Facebook, in response to a post uh, by us about Blizzard making things tougher for people who bail on instances early, uh, like after only one boss. Apparently there's one particularly bad one in Ashkahet where people are bailing after the first boss because it drops something really good. And if it doesn't drop, they just leave. Um, I suggested that the debuff should be account bound. Um, for the half hour. For the half hour, because that means you can't queue on any of your tunes. So it could be a wall bound account. Um, My su oh, go on, you go, you go. And the comment we received was Conti, who loved that suggestion. He thought it was a great idea. Yeah, absolutely did. Hmm. My suggestion is make all the loot not drop till the end. Um, yes. Well, that so would be can... a little overwhelming at the end. Well, so that, that is, uh, I mean, all the loot goes to the end boss. Or yes, you have a big yeah. treasure chest at the end. Then again, what if um, what if you get disconnected? What if you get something you want? Anyway, yeah. anyway, uh, I've not posted much on threads this week because I only do that from my computer, and it's been a bit of a week. We'll try to be more consistent there because I really love the community on threads, who have recently inspired me to rewatch The West Wing, and I am like you it. needed an excuse. <laughs> so I had a message from Andy. Says this might be an unpopular opinion, but Ring Deeps might be my favourite looking zone of the expansion. It look, it's got vibes like a bit like being indoors on a rainy day. Mm. I don't it is not, a good, I it don't, is a good zone. Don't I don't not, think it's unpopular. I don't not love it, but I definitely feel like Hello Fall is my It's very alliancey. I actually quite love the Isle of Dawn. Yeah. And that one is the outside. Conti <laughs> says Hello Fall is his favourite. Yeah. It has a very yeah. outdoor feel. Yeah. Older loves the sound of what we're what we're dishing up about the expansion. Who doesn't? Says he may have to log back in when he gets back from his trip. Mm. So good, good stuff. On that, I did get a private message um, from uh, Tin from our old Tog days, who was like, "Is it any good? Should I resubscribe?" And I was like, "My, it's amazing, resubscribe." And um, he's been playing and. Um, I convinced him finally after how many years have we been well I've been Kai's friend no I've been Tim's friend for 13 years and that's since the um... you've been Tim's friend since Vanilla what are you talking about yes but uh, uh... let's say 19 years <laughs> well probably um, but what I was going to say is um, how long has it been since we haven't been on Proud, on Proud Mall 17 years 18 years not quite I think it's more like 15, but anyway, whatever. No. Um, after 15 years, he's finally joined our guild. <laughs> <laughs> we left there at the start of Burning Crusade. Yeah, we did. No, you're right. Not the start. It was midway through. Start. Okay, whatever. In the first couple of months. Mm -hmm. Snowdog. Snowy says, launch has been great so far. As of Monday evening, UK time, I have my hunter leveled. And almost 80 on my druid. Aside from the thing where my character disappears for periods of time, I can't fault it. you got to stop hitting uh, Vanish, dude. <laughs> my character disappears mm -hmm. for periods of time? What does that even mean? It doesn't draw his character. Oh. Yeah. I 
haven't had. I don't that. think it's happening now. I think that did happen during early, early. Um, well, I don't know. Early, what was it? Launch. Yeah. Maybe. Launch. Maybe. But we early haven't, access. Haven't we recorded access. once since then? Such a hard word to remember. Anyway, PD says miners can get cloth from mining. It seems, but I see more tailor alts in my future. Yeah, yes, because only tailors can yeah, get cloth. I put a couple of cloth pieces on the AH. I get out of my bag. I said. Did they sell for like gold? I don't know. Well, because only tailors. You only get them occasionally. So you get them in other things. So I've got a very limited amount. Normally you gather that every time you kill a human, you get okay. cloth. Now only tailors are getting the drops from that. And Squish, who is a new follower, mm. welcome. Yay. I've been really enjoying account-wide progression, mm. even down to each and every flight point I click on. It's a great <sighs> feeling. It absolutely is. It is good. It's so good. Even though you haven't explored it, you're like, okay, I want this flight point. The thing I love about it is that if you're a bit low on one of the reps, you get on your ult and you start in that zone and it all adds to your overall rep. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, let's move it in game. Before we oh, move it in game. Before we move it in game. I was going to give a public service announcement about something. Be careful with the auction house. Oh, yes. Because people are ghosting, which means they put a piece on for like just a few silver that's worth gold and gold and then grab it back off again and put it on again and grab it back off again and it drags the auction house price down. The average price. The average price, which means that when you just click, yeah, put it on for whatever. You might actually put it in a lot yeah, lower. Um, really and low. also that is fucking with people buying stuff because every time I'm buying well, stuff. It's messing with the auction house too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to buy stuff and it'll go, those items aren't there anymore because yeah. someone's, and that's very frustrating. So I'm hoping those people get a little bit of a banny ban because it's driving me mad. Oh, they will. They'll find them. Yeah, of course they will. Yeah. Oh, well, I just want them. So if it's you, stop doing it because they're on to you. Mm. Um, and if it's if, if it's not you, like me, um, it's just, it's very frustrating. Try and buy stuff on there. Absolutely. Now let's take it in game. Okay. Vibe check of the expansion mm, continues to be new. well received. Vibe check? Like just from us or no? in the greater world? It's inspired by someone you don't like. Mm. But uh, Jesus. I'm just, just looking at the overall mm. content creators. When, you know, we're just paddling in the show. Show end. Yeah, sure. But uh, real big time, you know. Mm. What do you do? Mm. I do. Content I do. creators, I enjoy watching the roller coaster of... It's the best. Oh, it's the worst ever, and it must be fixed. I did like. I walked in on you listening to one of my um, least favorite least favorites the other day, um, and I did enjoy hearing him caveat his enjoyment. Now you've cut down what sex they are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say most content creators for the wow. Sleuths. Ones, they're out there. What about Avatar? What about you? Well, it could be Taliesin. The um. Could be you. The wowhead one is two girls. Um, okay. I, I'm not saying who it is. I'm just saying. I I was just like, there it is. Like, oh, this is the best expansion so far. We'll have to see if it, we'll have to see if it stays like that. Piss off, idiot. <laughs> uh, what can can people not just enjoy things? Like, can you just not I mean, enjoy the it? The most popular vibe is wow's back. Mm. Well, and it's really good fun. And if you don't like it, that's okay. But just piss off quietly. Fuck off and play wild stuff. <laughs> or whatever else um, is going on. What are our kids playing? Zombies. Yeah. Leveling and weekly. Oh, uh, no, you've got something to say there. You've got... I love, 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 love it. That's my vibe. There is so much to do. And each time we log in, we have to have a conversation about what our priorities are. And we, we, we chat about what our priorities are. And then we set the goals for the day. And I'm really enjoying just even having to do that. Like, it's not just like, right, let's get in and do our dailies because we've got to do them every day. Um, it's like, okay, so we've been working on our mains for quite a bit. But yesterday we spent a long time on our alts because we thought we can learn the dungeons. 
while leveling our alts at the same time. Mm. So we did quite a lot of dungeons yesterday. So I really like it. And, you know, of course, it all adds to knowing the knowing of it and then making it easier for us to do them yeah. on our mains. And so it's just been really, really good fun. And um, actually having to plan out what you're going to do is, is, um, is, that's just, you know, means, like, it just shows you proof that there's so much to do and there's so many options. Beautiful segue into leveling slash weeklies. Mm -hmm. And um, mm -hmm. the spreading the light quests in Hello Fall have caused us a lot of confusion. Mm. It took us a while to work out yes, they have. what the hell was going on there. The, um, so why they use the name twice is beyond us. Mm. The mini one where you put the three resources in and get a quest. Three crystals. More, three crystals and get a quest is the more important one. Yep. Which it doesn't appear because it seems smaller. Yeah, well it is. It's just, um, what are those, what's that little thing? It's like a, it's like a weekly quest. It looks like mm. a weekly quest rather mm. than something. But then there's the special marker on the thing that says spreading the light. It's got a big mask on it and a horn under it, which signifies a big event. Yep. Yep. Um, and so you do that four times, then kill two rares and get a cache. So that's the one that gives you the cache. You'd think it'd they, be the bigger version. Well, I think the other one probably does give you a cache. I think it gives you little ones to open that just give you more key No, I think it probably stuff. does give you a big cache. The problem is that it's not worth the time to do it because you version. actually have to, I think you have to eliminate all of the different bigger flames. Like they have to have gone out, you have to have killed the boss and then you have to have done relight the, them. yeah, relight them. And you, but they're all on a 20 minute timer. Yeah. So. Well, it feels like that's the bigger deal, but it's not. It's the same size. It seems to be the same size cash. It's got the same name. It's not really anything yeah. like that. And um, the people that know have all said, it's not worth the time and effort. So it might be something bigger, but it's not worth the time and effort to do it. Yeah. You're better off to just do those four because you get the four bags and a cache from doing that because you get a bag from each quest. So the collective wisdom from what I can gather on how to level nicely seems to be skip Dalaran once you've done it once. Mm. Select the Isle of Dawn from the map where Bran is when you, where you select yep. what zone you're going to start in. Yep. Go to the Dalaran crash site. That's where the first where you campaign land. quest yep. is. Yep. Do those quests. And then gather from that zone. So get yourself uh, mining and herbing probably, or skinning, I guess. I don't know what skins there are there. But That's plenty of skins. Mining and herbing. Do that whole bit, and you'll be like over 71 by the time you finish that. Mm. And then come back, do the opening campaign quests around the city, up until you've done the first delve, the compulsory one. Yep, uh, rookery. Then smash oh, out... No, that's a dungeon. Smash out rando dungeons to your... Can't take it anymore, or you're about <laughs> 76, 77 ish, and then go back to the campaign quests and use them to get to 80, as the gear rewards will be a better level to set you up for when you hit 80. Mm. I won't be doing that. That's okay. I've enjoyed the campaign, but I think um, given that we have literally only done the Isle of Dawn mm. quest. That's not the only good method, that's a streamlined. No, no. I'm just saying, on. on our second, like on our first <clears throat> alt, I guess, um, we we've decided not to not do... Not the campaign. Yes, not the campaign. So we've just done adventure mode. Yeah. And we only cleared the Isle of Dawn by 77, um, which was great for our rep. There's a lot of quests. There is a lot of quests. Um, and we've done 76 we got to, and then we've done dungeons for that, and we've got less than, less than a level to go. Yep. Um, so I think even though we started the campaign again to have another look through with it on our rogue and what do you play with my rogue? My druid, I think. Whatever. Is um, that the third one? Yeah. Yeah, druid. Um, I think and I'm, I'm going to. on my own. I think I'm going to switch to adventure mode and okay. start the next zone, and I think I'm going to go with Arctic Hit because I think that's where we're going to need some extra rep. So I think that's my plan. All right. Maybe the one after that, we might try that method and report back on how well it goes. Yeah. Um, delves? Delves. We've been really enjoying them. I think we've still not seen a couple. Yes. I don't think we've done them all yet. Because uh, uh, I think there's two in each zone or something, isn't there? Oh, there's oh, more, more than that. Yeah. So we definitely haven't no, done them all. there's more like three because there's 12. 11. Isn't the 12th 12. one a special one? 13 is the special one. 
The 11 you're thinking of is they go up to level 11. Oh, okay. Anyway, we've been waiting for them to open up the next level. So um, yeah. we don't want to, we've used one coffer key to try Just it out, to see it what out. happens. Just to test the system. Um, Otherwise, we've saved, I think I've got about seven. Yeah. Not a ton. But I've got seven and more than halfway to another one with the fragments. Um, anyway, we've got quite a few to see, but I'm, we're waiting until they open up so that we can have a go at those um, at yeah. higher levels. Um, I think I really enjoy them. I think it would be better if we didn't have to all pick up the loot. Like we didn't all have to loot the chest if we didn't all have to pick up the mislaid curiosities. Yeah. I think it would be better if one person picked them up and just everyone got them. Like it, like we're all there. You, like it's maybe yeah. There's no you know would only be good one. If you could say only you go one over person. I'll go over this way. Only one person's brand is there, so realistically, everyone else's brand should get leveled up the same as. I mean, he is getting leveled up, but also um, from the curiosity. So it just seems silly that we all have to go and pick it up. Uh, um, I love that it changes. The content changes from week to week. Yes. So it's the same deal, but you've got maybe a different objective. And yeah, so it just changes quite, it And right it's up. quite different this week. One of the ones that we did last week, it was yeah. um, either the ones where you had to stay in the ring because of the poison or the ring the because of the light. We messed up, but that was okay. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's, it's been good fun. We've enjoyed it. Yep. Absolutely. Dungeons? Trying to familiarise ourselves with them. I don't like tanking them if I don't know them, although I will do that if we're in a guild group. Mm. I won't tank a pug before I feel confident with them because I'm not taking shit for that. <laughs> uh, I pugged a lot on my paladin this morning and went from 71 to 74 in just a couple of hours. Nice. In about maybe five dungeons. Mm. Yep. Dungeons are good when they when you can speed level in there, especially for alts. Like, yeah. Mm. Um, I'm looking forward to... Not dungeon related at all, but I am looking forward to doing a different zone and doing all of the side quests on a different, like on a different person, because we really... It's so weird to hear you say you want to do quests. I know, but I, because we're not doing the same ones over and over. We, we've done two alts to 80 nearly, and not one of them has done the same quest twice. Do you know what Tim's discovered, which I already loved and she now loves, is the stay a while and listen. Mm, I do love that. Really good. And the voice I mentioned that. Is I mentioned that down down below um i've enjoyed all of the dungeons except for dawnbreaker yeah we had um, a bad experience with dawnbreaker we did have a bad experience which we'll talk about later but um it's also apart from it being a bad experience because our first time in was with an, an a-hole um it also involves a lot of flying and i'm not good at it and so um if what happens is that you are flying down and you've got to find find the boss on the last boss. if you can't find them and you're flying around one if you fly around for too long you die you just auto killed and two if you have if you try and land often you land in a pile of shit like there's just mobs everywhere mm. or you run out of vigor and then you can't do anything you're stuffed because we haven't got pathfinder yet sure so um i'm finding that re that really frustrating um hoping that will get better as we get to know it. Mm. Um, I, think it will. I might just have to actually learn where that boss is in the map so that I can fly straight there. Yep. Um, Crazy yeah. train, raid brick. Yeah, still needing to upgrade gear before gemming for me personally and enchanting. Yeah. Not good, not gemming or enchanting or in doing all of those things until I've got to 580. Um, which is, we nominated 580 as the high level to be. Yes. Because it's um, 17 levels below the gear. Normally we go around 15. So yeah. five, 582 is the ideal number. Um, because then that way we're not, we but feel we, we don't we sort of we struggle. Want a round number. We don't struggle with the DPS. We don't struggle with yeah. the healing. And Although stuff they're like different um, gear. So it's only 17 for the first couple of bosses. Yeah. And then it's about 15, and then it's about 20 below the end ones. Yeah, so yeah, the, so final, the final two as usually. As we do a few bosses, but yes. get some gear. And, yeah. That, but well, I mean, 580 is a minimum that we want to be, so yeah. a lot of people are already above that. Well, there's three people who are at it. Yep. Um, I was going to say the lower level enchants are selling quite cheap, so the, um, just, I don't know, is it the one diamond ones, the bronze ones, bronze level? Bronze. Um, so that's good for starting rating, but not great for enchanters because dust is so hard to come by, it's selling for 140 
um, gold a pop for one dust and you use 50 dust in, in some of the enchants. Yep. Um, so has anyone got any BOE greens? Send them to Huchimana on Jubathos. Please. Uh, yeah, well, get my, get my dust up. We have three tunes geared well enough to raid. I'm not sure how they're going with the consumables, gems, chants, food, flasks, etc. because some of those are pricey. Um, but they've got some time to, now that they've got their gear up, they can do some farming. And, and, now, given uh, that, while the, while the new runes are crazy priced... I haven't even seen the new runes yet. Use, we kind of let people use the old runes just to contribute something. Mm. I, as we've both changed mains, we don't have the no, auto don't room. Have that. Is it worth buying that? A hundred thousand. For a whole last time, we didn't even get to them until we got that. Yeah, that's true. Oh so no, I, no, that's out. not true. I was using mine. I, I bought them. Oh, I, I just paid for them. They're cheap now too, aren't they? Uh, the old runes, yes. I used. That's not true. I spent a lot of cash making sure I had the top rune. I was probably one of the only ones, but it was expensive at 1500 to 2000 gold a pop. Yeah, but anyway, as I'm one of the tanks on the new raid, I'll be making notes and studying them during the week when Temp's working. Nice. And you can come home and I'll go, here's how the fight's working. Mm. How's your mains gear? My main gear is um, sitting at 572, so I'm one of the people who am not there yet. Um, I do have my heel spec all sorted, um, and I, I just need to go in and just practice on a um, target dummy just to make sure that I've, like, get some muscle memory in for where they all are on, on heelbot. Yep. Um, unfortunately, uh, Icy Veins has shut itself for anything related to Boomkin for raiding and mythics, and the links for the specs... Um, they are broken. So the mythic spec is completely broken, just does nothing. You click on it and nothing happens. And the one for raiding takes you to a Mirdrasil. Terrific. Um, so you can't actually see hero talents for mythics or raiding. So that's, and, it, and there's a big thing saying they'll do it once um, once it's been released, where it just it hasn't yeah. happened. So I don't know whether the per there's a, an issue with the person who does their Boomkin stuff or, or I'm just going to have to go to a different site because it's driving yeah. me nuts. Um, I think I'm at about five seventy-eight. Yep. So close. Yeah, you're very close. Collecting the rep gear to tide me over and hoping to smash dungeons and upgrade stuff. I just got because I'm an alchemist. I just got the pattern for the philosopher stone or whatever it's called now. Yeah, alchemist stone. And that's a five nine three trinket as well as being an alchemist stone. Yeah. So I'll make that when I can, and then I'm hoping to smash dungeons and upgrade stuff starting. After we record this. Yes, yeah, so well, we have to go and do some heroic level ones now. Yep, to heroic get some gear. randos. Hmm. I will not be tanking. Any old activity? Yep, still playing the shaman, taking our time as we've been very interrupted with my hospital shenanigans. Hmm. Uh, really enjoying the shaman. The shaman's great fun. Yeah, and they're the ones that are about to hit uh, 80. They're at 79 yep, and a bit. 79 and a bit. Uh, your shaman and my mage. Uh, and I have to remember to go and get my group portal <laughs> from the portal trainer. Oh, you you've get, only got the teleport. You get teleport at 75, but you get the group portal at 78. So I have to go back and get that because that happened yesterday. Um, we've only explored Dornagol on these tunes. And, um, yeah, just as I mentioned earlier, I'm, we want to go out on our next alt and choose a different zone and I'm thinking Ashkahet might be the way to go because mm. we've not done much there because there's not a lot going on. Um, apart from the expense of it all, I'm also really loving levelling my professions. Um, mm. I've done a lot of work on alchemy today. Yeah, also today and how good weekend. is the Warband Bank and oh my god, now you can craft straight from it, which you couldn't a few days ago, so it must have fixed it. So, well, when I say a few days ago, it was probably last week. But um, if you thought that you couldn't um, craft straight from your um, warband bank, you now can. Um, so that's awesome. Yep. Um, and I, here's where I said that I've really loved seeing the um, the little NPCs with their speech bubble over their head, or if it, you get to the end of a um, quest and there might be a speech bubble, there's a, a stay a while and listen um, option and you just get to hear a little bit more yep. about it and a little bit more depth and it's been I've really really enjoyed those they've mm. been really good um, this expansion is incredibly story and going, rich going deeper with 
hilarious story has made her a real fave of ours and we've probably never even thought of her too much before this. No, and... I enjoyed the radio play with her yeah. in and just, and Legion. Feyren, learning Feyren's story. Yeah. Is it Feyren? Is that how they're saying it? I don't think Feyren? it is. Feyren? Oh, anyway. Anyway, and, yeah. and, um, and I love the interplay between um, Feyren and Andrew and it's beautiful. So, so going to do it. I hope so. Uh, all right. Do we have a leg player of the week? We yes, sure we do. do. Yeah. Special sledge to Death Knight Chilrog. We randomed into a dungeon with Barat and Conti, and he was the tank. Mm. This Chilrog dude. Dawnbreaker. It was the one. Yep, yeah, the Dawnbreaker. We have to fly around on the ships and then do the mini bosses in the city. We had no idea what to do. And we, and said, we said that we said straight up, up, never been here. And he said, yeah, no problem. But he kept landing and trying to do. Other rares or something he was trying to do. I don't know whether he was trying. Like I don't know whether he was landing. If he was trying and to then do going, the mini oh, bosses, they've... he wasn't doing them properly. Or landing and then going, oh, they've gone over there, and then because there was a lag issue Just or something, and then going to another another place. Yeah. I don't know what he was doing, but what I what happened kept happening to me was I kept you'd landing land going on him, and then he wouldn't be there, and there'd be mobs everywhere, and then you'd be in combat and not be able to mount up, or you'd take off again. But how many times can you take off and land <clears throat> before you run out of vigor yeah. because you're not doing anything? You just yeah. go up and down, up and down, up and down. So. Um, he was so stupid. he didn't help us with it at all. Uh, in the end, we kicked him, and then he started whispering abuse to us. Yeah, how rude. Telling us to unsub. Uh, he, unsub is hilarious. Not only just unsub, but he was also, like, he was he's using, abusive. He's using yeah. slurs. Um, yeah. So he actually got a report, and I wasn't the only one who reported him. So, um, because he said the same. He, he used he a quite me. I was a disappointed. derogatory term. Very disappointed. Anyway, um... So that he earned But then we got a replacement, so shout out to PD Mode, the warrior, who was awesome and didn't have any better gear than the first guy, just knew. But how was to tank. very well geared. No. He was. He must have been. No, he was five eighty four. Really? Yeah. He did thirty percent of that fight. Yeah. On his, on his own. own. He with was no, a good warrior. With no heal. <laughs> yeah. He was a warrior, he knew how to use his cooldowns. Well, he did. Well. He I did guess it was job. it was just a normal, so he probably is geared for rogue. But um, he yeah. was uh, he was good, and, and he tried to get us through. He tried to help us, and that was cool. Yeah, finished off the last boss, as Temp said, when we all died. So hats off to him. Yeah, because we were still learning mechanics and getting stuck in shit. <laughs> um, they were literally on opposite ends of the spectrum. Um, one who didn't get it, and one who did, it and was uber geared and finished twenty or thirty percent of the final boss on his own with no healer, which is pretty impressive. Mm. Um, any words of wisdom? I have some. Go for it. Uh, take care of yourself and enjoy the game. There's so much to do and it's so much fun. So just get in there and have a good time. My word of wisdom is when you get a skin graft, don't move your leg around. Don't move your leg don't around. Do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's all good. So we've come to the end of another episode of Buy Not Equip. Now's the time to unlike don't if you don't. change your mind. Otherwise, smash that like. Uh, and, lo- and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and please send us your feedback. We love hearing your thoughts. 55 minutes. I think we've gone a bit. Oh, long. So, well, <laughs> it was a little shambolic at the start. We got, we, got a little off track. We, <laughs> anyway, we brought it back in. We reined it in. We got it back in there. Certainly end. not snack size, though. Thanks very much for hanging out with us. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Wembley. I'm 